What's going on, YouTube OCD for EDC here? I'm joined by my lovely wife, Molly. Say hello. Hi, guys. And what we've got for your face balls today is knife sale day. Uh, we've got a bunch sitting here on the table. We're going to blow through them real quick. And uh, yeah, so happy uh, knife sale. Send so us an it, email if you're interested in anything. It, yes, uh, we will, I'll put the email in all the uh, terms of the sale will be in the video description. Uh, so where you send messages to, all the inf information, check out the video description. The knife sale list will be in there as well. We'll try and keep it updated uh, as much and as quickly as possible. Um, but uh, yeah, so... All the knives here uh, are brand new, unless I say otherwise. Uh, we do have a few used uh, items on the table. Uh, and then also everything comes with uh, free uh, U.S. shipping. Uh, we will ship international, uh, but there could be an upcharge for the international shipping depending on where it's going and all that sort of stuff. Uh, 18 years uh, of age and older, uh, you know, standard, standard stuff. Uh, and then once you send us an email uh, requesting the knife, we will assume that that's the one that you want and mark you down for it. Uh, please pay in a reasonable time frame. Like I don't, you know, expect anybody to uh, jump through hoops or anything, but you know, I don't want it to drag out over many days either. So uh, it can get hectic. Um, and Molly's the one that deals with that. So be good to her. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, if you wait too long, I'm clipping you. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. I don't have a whole lot of patience. So, anyway. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, anyway, you know, on some of these, you know, we're probably going to have, you know, generally speaking, there's multiple people that want the same item. So, if you see something on here that you want, uh, react quickly because a lot of times, you know, the best stuff goes fast. Uh but uh, anyway, we're going to get right into it uh, real quick. Email address info at OCD4EDC.com. All that info will be in the video description, so check it out. Uh, all the knives, like I said, free USA shipping. Uh, they will come with OCD for EDC stickers as well as uh, OCD for EDC candies. Um, per perhaps some so perhaps, bag of crap. Yep, other things as well. If you guys have bought knives from us before, you know that we uh, throw other goodies in the bags. Knife sales so, and bag of crap time. Yep, yeah, so uh, yeah, that's all good and fun. Uh, but let's get right into it. We're going to uh, get rolling. Uh, you can see that there's a bunch of spider codes. All the spider codes will come with the exception of one for sure. I think, I think only one will not come with... Uh, a collector club certificate the rest of them are all collector club knives so they will come with the certificate they come with everything that came in the box originally the spider co stickers and all that good stuff uh, as well as all the other knives they come with everything that they came with from the factory uh, so if they you know if the knife came with a pouch or a hard case or something like that it is here it's included and yeah we do have a couple fixed blades as well those come with sheaths so yeah, let's get into it. All right, so first up, we have a Cold Steel Mini Recon 1. This is a Mini, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's Aus 10A uh, blade steel. Price on this one? $60. Six zero on the Mini Recon, brand new. Uh, this is a real steel rocket. Uh, this is one that I modded, uh, brand new knife. And this one is an awesome, awesome front flipper. It's one of my favorites, actually. Uh, price on this? 90. 90 bucks for a modded rocket uh, designed by Ivan Bragnitz. Awesome, awesome knife. Uh, here we've got uh, the uh, Sheepdog XL. Uh, now these have been heavily modded. So I put a hole in the blade for spidey flicking. The liners blade uh, clip have all been acid stone washed. Uh, the blades have been reground. They're about ten thousandths uh, behind the edge, and the cutting geometry on these are phenomenal. So, if you uh, want a heavily modded uh, Sheepdog XL reground blade, all the stuff. Oh, and bronzed hardware. Uh, awesome, awesome knife. Price on these? Two hundred. Two hundred bucks for a reground, spidey hole flickable. Uh, uh, yeah, Sheepdog XL, uh, and I've got two of them. So there you go. So don't fight, guys. Yeah. Uh, here is the uh, 
uh, Kaiser Critical, and this is in 3V. This is the uh, carbon fiber uh, coated blade variant. Awesome little knife, Matt Christensen design uh, price. $95. On brand new, $95, bucks, Kaiser Critical. This is a knife that's an awesome budget knife. This is the Kaiser Z82. Z82. I think it N690. is. Yeah, N690 blade steel. Got kind of an American Tonto uh, blade shape. Action is fantastic. Price? 65. 65 bucks for the Z82. That's a that's a steal for for $65. That's an awesome knife. All right, next up, we have the Oaks Works uh Osprey EDC or uh, Osprey EDX. Mm -hmm. Uh gorgeous, gorgeous knife. This thing is in like brand new condition. I did carry it uh, a couple of times. Uh, but I mean, when I tell there's not a mark on it anywhere, uh, it's got a, you know, the factory pouch and cloth and everything in there. Beautiful, beautiful hollow ground blade. Uh, didn't cut anything with it. Uh, this one happens to be the green micarta, uh, titanium. It's, it's just an absolutely gorgeous knife price. 300, 300 bucks. So the Oaks work EDX, um, this here is the Max Ace uh, Kestrel uh, M390, brand new, G10 with titanium. It's kind of an interesting design. Action, of course, is great. It's a collaboration with Max Ace and uh, Midnight Cat Studios. Comes with a really nice uh, zippered pouch. Price on this one? 145 145 on the Max Ace Kestrel. This knife is a really, really good one. This is the Concept uh, Model 6. I think it's called the Swan Model 6. Uh, of course, you can Spidey flick it. Really good in hand. Titanium, frame lock. This one's brand new. Uh, never been used. Comes with all the stuff. Price? 200 200 bucks on the Model 6. This here is the Best Tech Arita or Arita. Something like that. Uh, 14C28N, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. uh, riding on bearings. Action's fantastic. JG10. Black blade. Good size knife. Pretty good pretty good size knife here, but uh, really good in hand. Price? $85. $85 for the best tech. It's very pokey. Yeah, very pokey. Next up, Atuya. Big belly. Awesome knife. The... Uh, Axis style lock here is fantastic. The thumb studs are super comfortable. Uh, M390, carbon fiber, integral, awesome reversible pocket clip, and it's just fantastic. Really amazing knife. Comes with the hard case. Price on that one? 200. 200 bucks on the two you knife big belly. All right. <clears throat> this is an original first production. Uh, best or a bench made vector and you can see i think this is number 207 mm -hmm. yeah 207 of 1200 it is a um uh assisted uh, uh access lock knife and it is s30v blade steel like i said number 207 first production run the original receipt from when this was purchased is in the box uh, which is fantastic, and the box is also, you can see right there, it says first production, 207 of 1200. Uh, awesome, awesome knife, and these, I can't, I think they were close to like 300 bucks new. Oh, really? I think so. Wow. Um, but uh, price on that? 165. 165. So this one has been carried, although you can't tell. Um, I mean, there's not a scratch on it anywhere, but uh, like I said, the original receipt is in the box. Next up, same deal. Uh, Benchmade Anthem. Uh, this is really, honestly, one of the best Benchmades ever made. Uh, they are discontinued. This one here is also a first production. Uh, this is number... 913. 913 of 1,000, if I remember right. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely perfect. It is gorgeous in every single way. does not appear that it's ever been carried, although I can't uh, say that 100%. I personally have not ever carried it. Uh, but it was pre-owned when I got it. Original receipt is also in the box for this Benchmade Anthem. Uh, price on that one? 450 450 on the Benchmade Anthem. And yeah, that thing's amazing for sure. All right, we're getting into some Spydercos here. Uh, first up, we've got the Pacific. Uh, this is a Pacific 2 fully serrated H1 blade steel. 
uh, price on this? $80. $80. Next up, we've got the Atlantic 2 LC200N green handle, awesome knife, kind of a quirky looking thing, but super cool LC200N. Price? 95 95 bones. <clears throat> That's a cheap way to get some LC200N. Next up, we got the Native Chief. This is a cutlery shop exclusive. This is in uh, CTS XHP blade steel. This is the coated variant with the orange uh, G10. Price? 170 170 Next up, one of my absolute favorites, the Stretch 2 in K390. Uh, this is essentially a, a backlock PM2 in K390 blade steel, which is just fantastic. And uh, yeah, it's a it's a spectacular knife. Price? 135. 135 on the stretch too. This here is the Resilience partially serrated uh, satin blade. These are 8CR13, I'm pretty sure if I remember right. Yeah, 8CR13 MOV. Uh, price? $50. $50 on the satin blade. And then we have the Resilience partially serrated uh, black blade. Is that also 50? 55. 55 for the black oh, blade. No, no. I'm sorry because you, you got that backwards. Oh, I got it backwards. Sorry. It's 50. Okay. So both of the partially serrated ones are 50. And then the plain edge, I'm assuming it's 55. Yes. Okay. Plain edge, black blade, resilience, $55. So there you go. Um, next up, this is a thin blue line. Uh, this is the Endura? Indela. Indela, sorry. Uh, partially serrated uh, VG10 blade steel. Says on the blade to serve and protect. Thin blue line. Awesome knife. They got the blue inside the uh, handle there. It's a really cool knife. Uh, price? 90. 90 bucks. Okay, next up, we've got a thin red line. Uh, this one also an Indela? No, this is an Endura. Partially serrated VG10. This is the red line. And on the blade here it says uh, save and serve. Uh, really cool knife. Um, price? $90. $90. Um, what? We're not in order. Oh, well, did I? Yeah, you, he screwed up. Guys. I screwed up. Uh, sorry, I, we're out of order here. But next up is the police. In K390, this is a fully serrated variant of the Police 4 in K390. Absolutely amazing, amazing knife. Big old boy. Price on that one? 160. 160. Next up, this is another uh, Pacific. Uh, Pacific 2, this is a fully serrated black blade. Uh, H1 blade steel. Price? 80. $80. Next up. The GP Knives, Rex 45, Para 3 Lightweight, White, FRN, Satin, Rex 45 Blade, gorgeous little knife. These things are fantastic. Price? 145. All right. Oh, no, I'm sorry, 165. 165 on the Rex 45, Para 3. Uh, any knife, if or any order for that matter, if you guys want to add a CME to the order, and if you want me to install it, like if you want me to install one on this right here, um, I'll uh, I'll knock ten bucks off. So if you want to add a CME to an order, uh, just you can get a CME for fifteen bucks. There you go. So here is the uh, pair of three. This is one of my absolute favorites. This is the triple black uh, knife center exclusive CPM crew wear. Awesome, awesome knife. Black blade, black liners, black clip. Black everything, out. just straight murdered out. Price? Two fifteen. Two one five on the knife center murdered out pair of three. Next up, we've got the. Uh, this is the rescue. Mm -hmm. The rescue. This is a thin red line, uh, rescue. So again, it says save and serve on the blade. VG ten blade steel, fully serrated. Cool, cool knife. Uh, yeah, price. Uh, 95 dollars $95 on the rescue. Uh, next up, we got the uh, UKPK, uh, and this is an LC200N. This is the salt variant with the yellow. It is a slip joint uh, knife, and it's got a half stop there, black clip, black hardware. 
bright yellow handle. The texture on it feels fantastic. LC200N uh, blade steel you can see right there. Price on that guy? $80. $80. Next up, the Blade HQ exclusive smock. This is the um, uh, coated variant. It's got like, a, uh, I can't remember what the coating is on it, but it's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. JG10 M4 blade, brand new, in box. It's absolutely gorgeous. And uh, one of the most desirable smocks of all of them, honestly, because it's one of the coolest ones. Price on that one? 265 265 on the smock. All right. Next up. We've got another uh, Cutlery Shop exclusive, uh, Native Chief. Uh, this one is in CTS XHP as well. Uh, and I just got a big fingerprint on it. Uh, but this is the non-coated blade. Price? 180. 180. Next up, I think this was a DLT trading exclusive. Mm -hmm. um, Yojimbo 2. Uh, this is in 20CV, coated blade, tan G10. Price? 165. 165. This here is a Knife Joy exclusive, I think. Yep. Uh, in Endura. Endura. Uh, and it's uh, rocking, was it 20 CV? Mm -hmm. 20 CV blade steel, blue FRN handle, Knife Joy exclusive, Endura, plain edge. Price? Hundo bucks. $100. Next up. We've got the SMKW Fat Carbon uh, Blue Frost. I can't remember what they call it, honestly. Um, absolutely gorgeous knife. Wonderful. Like, the shine on it is just amazing. Uh, M4 Blade Satin Blade. Absolutely gorgeous. Price? $235. $235. $235. Next up, another... Stellar PM2. This one is the uh, Crewwear uh, Micarta. So a lot of people refer to it as the uh, Crew Carta PM2. Uh, absolutely gorgeous knife. Amazing. And uh, I've got Micarta CMEs coming very, very soon. Uh, probably this week, actually. Uh, but anyway, price on the Crew Carta PM2. $225. $225. $225. Bucks. Next up, Blade HQ exclusive, Native Chief, M4 Satin, Jade, beautiful knife, absolutely gorgeous, love the Native Chief, it's a beast. Price? 250 250 Next up, the other pair of the GP knives, this is the Murdered Out, white uh, FRN, pair of three lightweight, Rex 45, coated blade, coated hardware, coated clip. Awesome, beautiful little knife. And uh, price on that guy? 175 175 Next up, we've got the TNP, the Nut and Fancy Project, uh, Delica. Uh, love the colorway on this, the blue with the black. Uh, this is S35VN blade steel uh, with the black uh, hardware clip blade, all that. And it says TNP on it. This is number 16 of 1230. Yeah, 1230. Uh, 16 is my collector club number price 130 130 all right next up we have the endura or the indella that is the indella indella in uh, black and red zome uh, this is a cpm 20 cv blade steel uh, black coated blade i think this is a knife center exclusive maybe i can't remember um, maybe dlt i think it's dlt uh, anyway, beautiful knife. Price? 120. 120. 120 bones. Next up, we have the uh, Spyderco Urban. Uh, this one is in uh, S30V. This is a Henny Hayes uh, exclusive red FRN. It's, this is a slip joint with a half stop. Beautiful little knife. Cool wire pocket clip. Price? 85. $85. Next up, uh, this is the one that does not have, this was not a Collector Club version. This is the uh, Spyderco Subvert. Uh, it's brand new, never been carried. Beautiful knife. Uh, action is phenomenal. The Subvert is such a cool knife all the way around. Uh, price? 350. 350 on the Subvert. All right, next up, we got some Tucson's. This is the two. 
Tucson TS 192. Mm -hmm. 192. It's been modified. This is a Mazwan Mokhtar design. Uh, it's a slip joint, uh, 14C28N uh, blade steel. Uh, I uh, blasted and dyed the micarta scales, um, this kind of aqua color. Uh, cool knife. Price? $75. $75. Next up is the uh, also Mazwan Mokhtar design. Uh, this is the TS-265 uh, Micarta. Uh, this is 14C28N, fixed blade. Uh, it's got a name called the Puffer. Uh, beautiful swedge up there, really nice belly. Awesome little fixed blade. And price on this guy? $78. $78 with the sheath. Uh, next up, another Mazwan Mokhtar design. This is the Tucson TS-264 titanium uh, uh, frame lock with carbon fiber, contoured handles, absolutely gorgeous knife. It's one of my favorites. Um, I had several of these. The TS-264. Yeah, yeah. It, it's brand new. Um, there's a fingerprint or something on there. Anyway, um, yeah, absolutely gorgeous knife. The stone wash on the blade is beautiful. Uh, price? 150. 150 on the 264. Next up, a little fixed blade, TS247 Micarta. Now this one is in M390. Uh, it's a Wong design, little fixed blade, like little three finger, you know, kind of boot knife. Just kind of a simple drop point design. Cool little knife, comes with a little uh, uh, Kydex style sheath here. Price? $55. $55. Next up, the TS23 Hole is what this is called. I'm pretty sure the blade steel here is uh, 420HC, um, but uh, riding on bearings, it's kind of kookery design, big old knife. Price? $45. 45 bucks for the 223 hole, or the, I'm sorry, the TS23 hole. Next up, this is the uh, TS 234, 234 Kodiak. Uh, this is another Mazwan Mokhtar design. A uh, really interesting knife, obviously. It's got this kind of wild uh, pivot system. Um, it is a frame lock, beautiful carbon fiber, gorgeous knife, and uh, 14C28N uh, blade steel. Uh, it is riding on bearings, uh, but it's not the action on it. it you have to kind of roll it out. It's not really a flipper, um, but cool knife nonetheless. And the price? 175 uh, 175 on the Kodiak. Next up, an amazing uh, Tucson here. This is a night morning design. This is the TS311 carbon fiber uh, titanium frame lock on bearings, thumb stud knife, good size knife, super comfortable, pocket clips great, uh, gorgeous knife. Price? $99. $99 on the 311. And then we've got uh, two uh, TS, and I'm going to switch hands here, um, TS329 Vandals. Uh, these are the button lock uh, that was designed by uh, Lee over at Love Them Knives. And I can't remember who helped him. He had someone else uh, that was involved in this. Double row ceramic bearings. Action is just stupid on these knives. Uh, but you can see that I've modified these. So I've cut the uh, fuller out in the blade, which really changes this knife uh, from being a, a good knife to an amazing knife. So I've done several of these at this point. A lot of hand sanding involved in that uh, removal of the fuller, um, but I've got two of them here. So both of them are fantastic. Um, brand new, never been carried. And both gorgeous knives, TS329 Vandal. Uh, they say Vandal on the backspacer as well. Right there. Uh, really cool knife, got a ceramic ball in the pocket clip, you know, carbon fiber. And of course, if you know Lee at Love Them Knives, it's the same on both sides. No we, war of the worlds here. No war of the worlds here. That's right. Uh, and it's a it's an awesome knife. Big old boy, four inch blade, super comfortable in hand. Uh, so both of them are the same. And price on these? 215 each. 215 each. So get yourself a modded TS329. All right, guys, uh, that is the list. Uh, 
if there's something you can't live without, uh, hit us up. Like I said, all the info will be in the description below. And uh, yeah, happy uh, happy knife buying. So thanks for coming and checking out the uh, Super Saturday Sale Spectacular. And uh, <laughs> we will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Peace.